problem 11.18, we we're told about a very large yo-yo uh, that was released from a crane once in the 80s. It's the mass and dimensions given here, and we want to know what is its acceleration while it's falling and rising, what is the tension in the cord, does this approach the 52 kilonewton maximum tension that cord could withstand? And if we built the yo-yo larger, but still to scale, how would the acceleration and tension differ? So in the chapter, there's already derivations of equations dealing with yo-yos for the center of mass acceleration. We have, and this is, uh, negative accelerations are downwards, so this one's going to be negative. So we have g over 1 plus the center of mass, or no, I'm sorry, the moment of inertia about the center of mass divided by m times r naught squared, and this is the radius of the sort of hub connecting the the two halves of the yo-yo. So, for a disk, the moment of inertia is mr squared over 2. This is our 0.32 meters, and this is our 116 kilograms for the entire for both disks of the yo-yo, because two disks rotating about, you know, both their centers are going to have the same moment of inertia as a disk of the same radius that's just, you know, solid and not made of two disks and the same mass. So it doesn't really matter for this. So our acceleration is going to be. Uh, negative g over 1 plus r over r naught squared divided by 2. And r over r naught is, is 10, so the... Uh, Acceleration is negative g over 51. Or numerically evaluating this 0 0.19 meters per second squared. So b, it's described in uh, the section about yo-yos that this applies to both the descent and the rise of the yo-yo. So the, um, the magnitude, oh, this is just asking for the magnitude, sorry. So this negative sign doesn't go here. So the magnitude is the same. The sign will be different, but other than that, they're the same. Now for C, we just use uh, Newton's laws. We know that the sum of the forces acting on it have to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. Well, we just found the acceleration up here. And so we can just solve this for the tension and put in what we found for the acceleration and we get m times g minus g over 51. And this is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the third newtons. And so for part d, it's, uh, we can see that this is, you know, 150th plus of, of the 
breaking point of the cable, so it's well under the maximum tension. So, no, this is part E. So A, we found is a function of R over R naught. Um, this is the only term in the expression for A that uh, depends on the scale of, of the yo-yo. Um, so if we scale it up so that the radius of the disks and the little hub thing um, if the ratio of those are the same, then A will be the same. This also didn't depend on the mass of the yo-yo. But the tension will be greater because the mass will be greater. We saw here that this doesn't depend on the mass, but this does. So the tension will be greater, and depending on how much bigger you want to make the yo-yo, you know, you might need to use a different uh, a different cable than what was used in this event from 1980. 